Okay, so we're going to go for a ride. That's what we're going to do. Now, there's a couple changes that I'm excited about, and you'll see for the uh, for the next video. So one of the things that we are doing, I'm going to make sure this is seated really good in here. There we go. So one of the things that's being changed is the factory USB-C side is not compatible for the new iPhone 15 um, phone. And so we have redesigned this USB-C plug and those are actually coming in tomorrow and we're gonna test them. And if it works, like I think it works, we're going to send them out to everybody free of charge who has bought a 2024 fighter so that you can use the newest iPhone. Um, that is awesome. So that is coming. We're excited for that. So that's the next modification I'm gonna be doing on this bike hopefully tomorrow so let's go for a ride again this is full bolt-ons um this does have intake it's got exhaust and it's got the stage one tune and um we're gonna see what it can do but this is the first time i've had a chance to test it i'm pretty dang excited about that so anyway we've had cold winter weather so today is day one let's go for a ride everybody so just to keep it in perspective 250 just under 260 pounds with my gear on I'm no lightweight six feet tall and so this bike is uh, basically uh, this bike is basically what I weigh so the bike is um, 269 pounds uh, plus fuel with fuel, you know, 280 pounds, something like that, 285. So, um, anyway. I weigh almost as, almost as much as the bike does. And I love how docile and nimble it is. And I think that's what continues to, um, me to the mini moto segment bikes. I just like how light they are. Again, the biggest change that you're going to see now with full bolt-ons is just my ability to uh, ride the ride the highway. It now loves six gear. It basically just wants to cruise the six gear. One of the things I love about this bike versus my Grom is the number of big bike guys that love this thing. Um, it's not that I don't get attention in my Grom. I, I, you know, I do. I'm not looking for that per se, but it's funny to watch the bigger guys, uh, the bigger, you know, Harley guys and things like that. They really like the, they really like the bike, especially when I got to bike night and things like that. Everybody asks about it. So you don't expect, you know, you don't expect to see a mini like this riding the highway. So. It surprises a lot of people.
hill. Uh, but this is a good place to test it out and see if we can hit the rev limiter in six gear. He's <laughs> got his GoPro filming. It's funny. So anyway, I know I'm going to get a lot of wind noise. Um, so I'll talk as much as I can. Hopefully you can hear this whenever we play back the video footage later. Um, so we'll see. But we're going to go for about a 20, 25 mile ride and see what she can do today. So hope you enjoy.
Tuk stuff. Um, whatever we found a little bit of. We don't have any like really steep hills here, so I really don't have a, a good place to do a top speed test. But um, we'll see what we can do. We'll try to give it a tuck and see if we can at least hit the limiter and six gear.
So, for those of you that are following along, I'm going to turn back around here because uh, this is uh, I-44 heading out towards Tulsa. So, anyway, I just wanted you to see, you know, the point of this video is really just to um, prove the point that, man, you can go anywhere you want to go. Um, you know, you can cruise about 70 to 75 mile an hour, um, even at my weight, and I am a lot heavier than your typical rider um, and I can go anywhere I want to go and that's what I love about this bike uh, and it's not to take any way anything away from my Grom um, I know I compare a lot to it because I feel like it's the same kind of buyer but I can't do this on the Grom I can't legally do this um, it doesn't matter if I add displacement and build my motor and everything else I can't legally ride um, the the road because it doesn't come that way and here in Oklahoma you need a minimum of 150 cc to hit the interstate so the ability to go anywhere I want to go, even long distance trips, if I so choose, is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And obviously, a, a lighter rider weight, you know, power weight is going to affect a lot of things. So a lighter rider is going to go even faster than me. So, but this is all I need. Full bolt-ons, intake, exhaust, and tune. This is all I need to do anything that I need to do. I don't personally have a need for a bike bigger than this. If I was going to try to, you know, buy some bike to drive out to California or go cross country, sure, I would buy something larger, but for anything, I would say within, you know, 50 to 100 miles of your house, this is all you need, and you can do it no problem, cruise the speed of traffic, um, and get there, and, and do it very affordably, and with a lightweight bike that really is fun to ride, super agile, um, the handling is just incredible, so I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll try to do some more as we go, As we, now that we're getting closer to summer months, I'll have more time to ride, but I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something from it, especially bigger guys that are looking for a small mini moto style bike to ride uh, on the highway, this will easily do it, so anyway, you guys take care, have a great day, we'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.